I'm Gwen, and I'm going to show off my MIDI wind controller that I've been working on for the last month or so. So here it is, and it's set up a lot to look like a clarinet, especially in terms of the spacing of the finger holes and the location of the keys. Now where this everything starts is here up at the mouthpiece. This is all made out of shape block, and what we have is a small hole here in the front there's another small hole here for bleeding out moist air. There's another hole here on the side which goes into our air pressure sensor. And then finally we have a screw here in the back which controls the flow of the rest of the air out of the mouthpiece. So that way you can control how much air you have to blow in order to max it out. Now, because on the clarinet we don't really have keys, you really have poles that your fingers have to cover. So what we have here are several rubber O-rings and inside of each O-ring you can see these little small pieces of wire. These are used with the capacitive touch sense capabilities built into the Teensy LC which we have hidden down here in our mess of wires. Also down here at the bottom is our set of keys for handling the low notes. And then here on the back behind the thumb rest, we have a small analog joystick. And right now I've matched left and right to be pitch bend and up and down to be control channel 13. So let's hear what we can do with this. As you can see on that last bit, I was using my thumb to move the joystick back and forth to give a pitch bend effect. So this is what we currently have right now. I'll tell you a couple of things I've learned. One is that here in the mouthpiece, we want to keep the volume pretty small so that you don't have to pressurize up a large volume when you breathe. So that's why this is fairly small and we have it very small areas inside that we have to breathe into. Another thing is that the small hole that we have down here, right there, for letting the water out is very important. Also in the back here you can see the octave key. And in this case we took a small micro switch and embedded it in here. Now this key is made out of shape block also and we've stuck it on here just by heating up the shape block and then used a wire cutter just to kind of make this really thin so it acts like a hinge point there. And the other thing is the O-rings are very helpful because they give you a tactile location for finding the holes without touching them. So this is what we have so far. It does present as a proper MIDI device. It does make reasonable sounds. So I'll probably end up wanting to add a couple more keys up here for hitting the high notes and a couple of the incidentals and maybe a few other controls here there. So this is what we got so far and also in case any of you are wondering this nail polish is Amazon Amazoff from OPI since all my friends always ask what color nail polish are you wearing. So hopefully this has been informative and as we keep going I'll make some more videos. Thank you.